Hi, welcome to Arch Merged i3. That's what we're on. That's this look. Changed the colors around. Uh, took again the Arch Linux blue color. And now I um, have chosen some icons and all that. That's not important. That's just design. I wanted to talk about uh, cloud services. I depend for my backups on um, the cloud. So in Arch Merge Info, so with the forum, with the info, with the releases, and there's also the Arch Merge Com. And there I made already an article about Dropbox. I won't repeat myself on that end. So you just check it out what, uh, how, and what to do, and what Dropbox is, and how it can be installed. But I could easily make this article on archmerged.com. But since we're working on archmerged, in i3, we'll post the article here. But it is not, um, it in sync is an application, it, it can be installed on anything. So it applies to all Arch merges and anything Arch Linux, by the way. So in sync, what's this? Uh, let's take a look at our system first. For future reference, that's what we're on. And then we want to install in sync. There are different ways to install it. First off, you can try in sudo pacman minus s. In sync is the name you have to look for. And then you get this target.found, it means that you have to look in the AUR. Packer is a way to find something on the AUR. So zero is the article or the number I should put in, zero. But um, there is control C, there is also Packer you can use. It's up to you what you use. Let's make the mistake. He wants something from me. He wants to know what should I do with it, install it or synchronize it. And then proceed with installation. No. What else? You can have yaourt and then say in sync. And then I have to type number one in this case. Control C, don't want that either. Then there are, there are others. I don't know if we have included them. Yeah, we've included aliases. We can use PKS, PKS, which is going to be yaourt minus S, no confirm. And the other one is uh, just updating things, updating the Yaourt or the AOR as well. So we could type in PKS, and that's actually going to say install with Yaourt and don't ask for confirmations all the time. So it's up to you to decide if you're, you're going to use that one or you're going to use the standard alias one, uh, the standard uh, Yaourt one. But in this case, when you use it, we just can keep off from our keyboard and just wait until everything is installed. It's just um, easy that way. At some point, after 30 installations, you trust that the package of InSync is working. He's going to compress the package. There are some patches he's going to do. You can always scroll up. And take a look where is he writing everything is we're writing user share applications some icons is going to put in the lip user lip or library he's going to put something there and okay in the end we'll have to wait till the compressing is done let's uh, not waste any precious youtube time and pause it here everything is compressed everything is installed nobody asked me anything and that's why because we use the alias and the alias was pks this one the other ones are for updating this is updating uh, updating without the aor and this is updating everything aor included all right um so in sync is installed what's next um in sync should be started so man in sync is always a good way to start your um how do you say that your investigation your finding out how to work with it. So you can quit it, you can pause it, resume syncing, set out to start, start. Start in sync, that's the thing I want. Q, quit, in sync, start. Then we have to wait, and we can wait, wait a very, very long time. Why is in sync not working? 
what's happening to InSync. We should see here an icon. And that's what I told you in one of the other tutorials. Super Shift D. Qt config Qt4. Let's maximize this one. Is my keyboard screen keys? No, nope, not screen key. It's not on Eric. This um, InSync start is not working. Why is it not starting? It's working because there is a bug and we have to fix it. We have to help him. We go to this program with Super Shift D. We went to, oh sorry, there's the Q. Let's go again. So, Super Shift D. And Qt config, that's the one we need. We're gonna maximize this one with Super F. And then this is the problem. This is the problem. If you choose anything else but GTK Plus and save it with this thing and then try again while we close it up. So in sync start. Wonder oh wonder. There you have it. InSync has an icon. He's waiting for you to uh, tell or to ask what's your your Gmail account, what's your uh, password, and everything is set and is going to be synchronized. Let's pause. Let's fill it in and let's pause uh, the movie. Okay, the login, so the password uh, session and all that has passed. And then it will ask me, choose your sync destination. Choose a new or existing folder where you want to sync your Google Drive in. Now, I don't like this name. This is not a nice name for my folder. So I'm going to go inside here and ask him to use my InSync folder that I just create. And, whoops, where is he gone? Let's see what he did. Uh, Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's killed, it's gone. So we just wake him up again. Like this. Let me check it out first. All right, we're back where we started. So change folder. Eric InSync has been created. Choose and then finish. And then close so it's um, a procedure you have to follow and then finally you have this thing here this icon down there and it's going to synchronize so you see that my mail is in there and open windows i'm gonna stop this of course this is a virtual box but he wants to progress uh that's the progress we see so everything is going to be downloaded a lot of gigabytes of stuff so no please stop with it so but eventually eventually what happens is that, bum, 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 where's main sync? Everything that's on my Google Drive, even the Google Photos, everything will be synced from uh, the Google Drive to my system. And that's how InSync works. It's pretty neat. And I can only recommend it. I hear people losing data and asking why do you clean install? Clean install is always better in Windows, in Mac, in Linux. It doesn't matter. It's always better to start fresh and then I get my Dropbox in, I get my InSync in, maybe the OneDrive in, I don't know where you keep your data. But um, it's one of the ways I work, it's my workflow, it shouldn't be your workflow, but think about it, it's an interesting thing, it's um, InSync and um, uh, well it, it works and I do think we have to pay for it a little bit, I don't know, don't recall. Uh, anyway, I'm paying for my Google Drive. That's uh, that's for sure. But in sync, I cannot recall. But it wasn't if it was paid, it was not much money. Um, let's have a look because otherwise you stay with questions. Was it in sync.com? I don't know. No, I guess not. In sync uh, Linux download in sync HQ. It's downloadable. Do we have to pay for it? Do not see anything really. Come on, close up. I don't want this. I don't want this. Get away. Get away. Oh, here. <laughs> Pricing. Mm. Might have paid some money for it. Yeah. Yes, of course. That was it. The deal is this 15 day free. That was uh, the deal. 
and then tried it out. I said, mm, awesome. Holy cow, it's a one time price. I thought, well, yes, $30 for a lifetime. Why not? So I bought it, and buy prime is what you can do down here. And I'm loving the app, I like this LP Zoom here. And it synchronizes all my applications from Mac to Windows to Linux to anything really. So that's a nice uh, tip maybe if you like to spend some money on it, of course. Some things are free in life, this isn't. Enjoy InSync.